everybody, my name is Olive, and I find it interesting that a lot of people are writing letters to their former self, their younger self, or their past self, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. It's like writing a snapshot of an autobiography of today that you can read in the future that talks about where you are currently. So I wrote this to myself in the future, hopefully to read um, once I find it again. But also the Bible encourages us to teach things to other generations, to our children. And so this can be also a letter that my children, my future children, can read and gain inspiration of. I wanted to share this with you because maybe you can do something similar and write a letter to yourself talking about where you are now and rereading the letter. Maybe it can give you some uh, some insight into where you are, your mental health and your state of mind and your present being and where you would like to be. So here's my letter that I wrote to myself. I wrote it yesterday on the 25th. Dear Olive, I believe this letter will find you well. Why am I so confident of this? Because you're in a place now because of the choices I'm making today. I choose to allow the Lord to be king over my life, my way, and my being. I choose to be happy, filled with joy, and pleasant in all things. I choose to create beauty around and among myself and love. I choose to keep learning, polishing, and elevating my skills. I choose to reflect the love of Christ that he gave to me and shared with me. I believe you are flourishing in a beautiful land surrounded by many fruit trees, mountains, rivers, and greenery. Remember to allow strangers to see who you truly are and keep not your vibrant spirit hidden in fear. Volunteer your time to teach others what you have learned and deposit your gifts in those deserving and accepting love on it. I hope that inspired you to write your own letter and to see where writing this letter helped me make some choices today that I know will positively affect tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.